Have you experienced this while sniping? It can be a bit embarrassing, especially if your homies see you missing the easiest shots. But don't worry, we've all been there. And it's finally the time to put those facepalm moments behind you. Because today, we're breaking down sniper mistakes that even the best players in the game make. Let's start with the most common mistake that players make when using a sniper. Knife switching. Sure, knife switching is flashy and can be quite fun to do and watch. But I can't stress enough how the habit of constantly switching from your sniper to your knife can actually ruin your gameplay more than it helps. Reason number one, it hurts your reaction time. Switching up and adds another animation to your actions, slowing you down in general. In a fast-paced meta that we have today, those milliseconds lost from switching to your knife and back can be the deciding point of who win and lose the gunfight. Reason number two, every time you switch weapons, you snap out of ADS. By doing this, you're basically throwing your aim out the window by forcing yourselves to lock in and fine-tune your aim all over again. If you're not a fan of fancy words, I got you. All you need to do is to not waste time. In today's meta where you can get three tapped into oblivion, one tapped by a shotgun, and get sniped from afar, you might want to take a step back and consider a change or learn a new habit if you want to stay in the competition. We highly suggest to hold your snipers at all times if possible and only use your melee or sidearm to reach point A to point B faster and use a bit of movement to throw off your enemy only when you have to just like what we did in this takeoff ace clip. While we generally discourage players from constantly knife switching, there are times where it can actually help you stay alive by being able to move around freely and be mobile rather than staying in a stationary precision. Remember that it's okay to knife switch as long as you don't do it like this guy does. Have you ever wondered why your sniper is taking too long to aim down sights and fully scope in? While well, some players get to snipe like this, there's actually a reason behind it and it's called the sprint to fire delay. Sprint to fire delay is the time it takes to raise your weapon before you can aim down sights or perform a hip fire while running. Your sprint to fire speed is not much of a big deal when it comes to most guns in the game, but when it comes to snipers, it's a whole different story. The higher your sprint to fire delay is, the more time it takes for you to aim down your sights, line up a shot, and get a kill, which can be tough, especially in close to medium range fights. Like what I've said in one of my old videos, the standard build for a DLQ has 216 milliseconds of sprint to fire delay, which is the four shot time to kill of the QQ9 in the current meta. With this information, you might want to start learning how to work around the sprint to fire delay and land shot before your enemy does, especially knowing that the QQ9 isn't even the fastest killing gun in the game. Well, the good news is, is that there are three easy ways to cancel your sprint to fire delay and be a step ahead of everyone else. You can minimize your sprint to fire delay by flicking your joystick back while you're running, strafing or walking like what pro players would normally do in tournaments and scrims, and of course we can't forget about sliding, slide cancelling, and jump shotting. By using these techniques, you're basically leaving your running motion, eliminating the sprint to fire delay whenever you need to aim down sights or hip fire. Do you have any tips to cancel your sprint to fire delay? Don't be shy and share it. Let me know down in the comments below. Now that you know how to snipe faster and deal with enemies in close to mid-range fights, it's time to focus on where snipers truly shine and how you can make the most out of it and become the most versatile sniper in the game. If you play ranked often in the greener regions, you will notice that there will always be that one guy with a sniper who'd run straight to your enemy team's base. Obviously, there are multiple reasons why this is not the best way to use a sniper, and we all know that sniper rifles perform the best at long-range fights. Whenever we use a sniper, we subconsciously think that the more areas we can see, the better. But let me tell you why this won't always be the case. When you watch too many lanes and openings, you're leaving yourself exposed to multiple angles and not only that, you also have to watch for multiple spots where enemies might show up. So instead of playing whack a mole with your enemies, do this instead. Generally, a proper way to peek at an angle is to not expose yourself entirely but to slice it like a pie. By doing this, you're essentially dividing the angles that you want to peek while keeping yourself from being shot from multiple angles. If you were to dry peek from top wood and firing range, let's try to count the spots where you can get shot from. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So starting from now on, instead of peeking like this, you should try to stick close to cover 
and not expose your whole body. Slowly check every single angle where an enemy might be holding and you'll be able to gather information and possibly even get a kill while keeping yourself safe from being shot from multiple directions. And trust me, this trick definitely works especially if you're up against players who are in par positions. But of course, we won't stop you if you don't like to play surgically. There are thousands of players out there who are probably just trying to get clips, proving their dominance or casual players who like to chill on the couch with their friends and just trying to have a good time because after all, it's just a game. Here are some loadouts that might help if you want to become the best aggressive sniper in COD Mobile. I've been playing with the realistic scope setting switched on for days so I can honestly share my thoughts about it. But before we start, I know what you're thinking. Okay, this may not count as a mistake that players would normally make since it's all about personal preference. But let me tell you that this setting is actually underrated and players are making a huge mistake for sleeping on this cool feature. So, what are you missing out on? With the realistic scope on, you'll get to see through the scope during the animation and experience a smoother motion when aiming down sights. This also applies to every magnification scope in the game. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the setting turned on and off with a locus. I won't lie, it felt pretty weird at first because I was already used to the old animation for years now. But after giving it a shot for a couple of days, I can totally feel the difference with the setting turned on. Sniping for me felt more fluid than before. Now I can catch a glimpse of my target, help me adjust my aim and land crucial shots. Have you ever tried getting sniper tips from the best COD Mobile players in the world? We watched Ifrig's $10,000 tournament and here's what we learned. 